Uh, I think it's probably the the most complex thing I've ever done. Uh, I, I've, I've been always interested in the relationship in between cities and the private life of their inhabitants. So when I decided to work in the um, idea of building a, a part of a company town and to tell the story of their inhabitants and through the story of their inhabitants to tell the story of the city during one year, a sort of a living uh, human zoo of this town. So the audience has the chance to go from one scene to the next one yeah. and to make different combinations in between um, different moments of the life of this these inhabitants well diamante it's um, it's a company town uh, you know company towns are these towns w that were built by private companies um, they are a very particular capitalist utopia I mean they were born because there were some bosses, some owners of companies who wanted to give better living condition to their employees, but also to have them very close to the factories and to, 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 to have more profit, you know, to, to also transform the, the private sphere in a productive one. They were very popular at some point of the 19th century. Then during the 20th century, they, they were a little bit forgotten. And now it seems that it, in the 21st century they are sort of in trend again. There is a lot of big companies who are uh, building their own towns, sort of very hipster company towns that they are building in California where they have like the, 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 the high rank of their employees living there and enjoying very good living and working conditions and they have organic food and free bikes and everything is uh, with, I don't know, uh, solar energy. But then at the same time the, the same companies or similar companies, they are building building a different kind of company towns in places such as China, India or Mexico, which feels more like exploitation towns. I mean, one of the huge inspirations behind this project, it was a real case, the case of Fordlandia. Fordlandia, it was a town built in the middle of the Amazonian jungle by Henry Ford, the, the owner of the Ford Motor Company. He, um, designed a sort of a Middle West uh, town from the United States in the middle of the Amazon, Amazonian jungle. And of, of course, it was a complete failure because it was like to transport something into the uh, absolutely wrong context. But the town still exists and it has been squatted by Brazilian people and they kept on living there. It's not this capitalist utopia anymore is not exactly a socialist uh, town either. It's just something in between. I think in, in recent times, capitalism has been very successful in selling or in imposing the idea that there's no other way to organize life, to organize working conditions, rather than the, capi the capitalist one, which I don't think it's, it's, it's true. The big decisions are just being taken by by big companies um, more and more every day. And if you think, if you look at what's going on right now in Latin America, where a very fascist governments such as the one in Brazil or very, very neoliberal governments such as the one in Argentina are taking power and how much uh, are they giving uh, the public space and the public sphere of life to private companies, that's what it worries me the most. <laughs> no, I don't have a question. I, I don't have an answer of what would be a better way to live together. Um, personally, personally, I'm always much more related to a sort of socialist or communist society rather than a capitalist one. Um, but I never lived in one of those societies yet, so not that sure how would be that experience. Because being inside here is also like being uh, inside a huge movie set. It's interesting that many gate communities and also uh, company towns looks like film sets and I don't know, it could be a larger reflection of why, uh, why are we building cities or, or neighborhoods like looks like more like film or TV sets. Hopefully that people who comes to see the, the show will have a, a different perspective 
of the city because of the show and also of the show because of the city. Much of the questions that we are dealing with during the show, they are not going to be too far away from your daily life experience. Uh, what does it mean to, to live in, in a place that is changing so fast and how much your personal story changed the place where do you live.